In other global news, Maldives government has suspended three deputy ministers over derogatory remarks made against India and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. We're talking about Mariam Shuchiana, Malsha and Mezum Majid. They have been sacked by the Maldivian government. The move comes after New Delhi officially shared its concerns with Mali over the matter. The remarks followed Indian Prime Minister Modi's visit to Lakshwadeep. Maldives government spokesperson Ibrahim Khalil has confirmed the suspension. The incident has sparked a diplomatic row between the neighboring countries. Apart from a massive social media outrage with many Indian stars and political figures condemning the distasteful remarks. And this despite one of the ministers deleting her tweets. The Maldivian political class has also condemned the actions. Faris, the president of the Maldives reform movement, has called on the government to take action against public officials who disrespect heads of state and high officials of friendly countries. The Maldives National Party also posted on social media platform X against, and I'm quoting here, racist and derogatory remarks. The island nation has also issued an official statement regarding the issue. It says that Shuana's opinions are personal and they do not represent the views of the government of Maldives. It also mentions that relevant government authorities will not hesitate to take action against derogatory remarks in the future. On the other hand, several travel service providers in India have also cancelled bookings and flights to Maldives. Now, the former Vice President of Maldives, Ahmed Adib, also reacted to the incident. Take a look. I think this is a very uncalled for and, and I think this is a very sad incident um, which should not, not happen actually because uh, when you are in an elected uh, position, uh, you should not engage as an activist. So you have to be more responsible and also uh, this deep <clears throat> degraded remarks towards um, the global leader, Prime Minister Modi, and as well as uh, racist comments against uh, Indian citizens. It's not acceptable. So we built our tourism on the basis of uh, tolerance and harmony and friendship and hospitality. So this is this is not acceptable at, at any level. And for more on this... Maldives, a former deputy speaker and current member of parliament, Eva Abdullah spoke to a principal diplomatic correspondent, Dhant Sibyl. Take a listen to this exclusive conversation. We have seen the developments of the day from Maldives, from New Delhi. Uh, how do you view these comments being made by the sitting ministers in the Maldivian government? Um, it's quite shameful. The comments by the Deputy Minister are simply unacceptable. Um, they're hateful, spiteful, and such racist remarks are simply intolerable. Um, across the political spectrum, political parties have condemned these remarks by the government minister. And I think, um, again, all political parties have been unanimous in asking the government to not just distance itself from the comments and not just condemn those comments, but also to ensure that such comments cannot be repeated. Um, the ministers have been suspended, but my personal view is that the government must issue a formal apology to India. These mm -hmm. comments have these comments by the minister target all Indian people, and it, it's it's an embarrassment and a shame for all of us here in the Maldives. Ma'am, our final question to you is, uh, uh, the government, of course, has suspended these ministers. Uh, uh, you have talked about that the government should apologize. But uh, do you see that suspension is something that is too little and too late? Uh, and do you think that the termination is something that should have happened? And do you see that there will be a repetition uh, when it comes I'll to say this government? I'll, I'll, I'll say, I hope there won't be a repetition. I, I sincerely hope that this is a one-off. And I sincerely hope that the uh, comments by the minister are not a reflection of the government's opinion as well. Um, I'll, I'll say this. It does show that perhaps... Um, we need to be a lot more careful in our appointment of people to these positions because the opinion, the, the words do, it's a deputy minister. 
um, she's no longer an activist. These are no longer general public or activists speaking. They, their words um, as official positions from the as ministers in government, it, it does reflect on the government, and in turn, it somewhat reflects on the Maldivian people as well. Um, so I'm not sure if um, they are fit to be in this job any longer.